What up, nerds? All right, round one here. It's Matt and Garrison, but you already knew that because of his sleeves. And yo yo, I want to call Brandon out here. You did not put your stylus on the table. Really? He was like, it's oh. he was like, it's easier to tell it's Garrison because of the stylus placement. <laughs> yeah, because it's always it's always right there. So uh, I'm on the play, and we both took a mulligan. Um, and my uh, hand is actually hot garbage, so yeah, well, we'll see how this goes. It's a flaming pile here, then. <laughs> yeah. Swamp pass. Go. Field of ruin. Oh, yeah. Pass. I made a couple changes to my deck. Me this too. Week. You changed decks completely. Forced go. What are you talking about? You don't know me. Swamp. Mm -hmm. Pass. Forced. Two beers. He sent me his list. It results. Uh, I'm going to save you some. Don't shuffle it. Yet. Okay. Uh, I'm going to feel the ruin your tomb. Okay. We're going to both fetch it out. Take three and you can three. I'm gonna push that. With revolt from the field of ruin. <laughs> He's like all te that. all teched out on this. He's like, I know exactly what you're playing, so Well he did send me his list and I was like, great, fatal push is basically a dead card. <laughs> like I have so few ways to actually get revolt turned on. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's like Four targets in the end. <laughs> right, it's the grazer. List I did. I did start off by saying, Garrison, you're going to have turn one grazer, extra land, turn two, topiary stomper. All three games that we played. Well, it did not happen. It didn't. Yep. Go ahead. I need a land here though. Didn't get it. Nice. Give the pass. Sweet. Push that. Okay. See, See, I, I, sh I didn't have to have revolt. <laughs> Shouldn't have given you that extra swamp. Yeah, yeah, that's that's exactly it. Uh, let's. Mm. Dread presence. Dread presence. Swamp. Uh, two. Okay. Twenty-two. Go ahead. Need to land here. Didn't get one. Um. Yes, I'm tapping the identical swamps myself. Hmm. I need a land and a two mana removal spell for Dread Presence. Nice. Didn't get it. Nice. But I'll do you a favor. Sure. <laughs> yes! Uh, yeah, 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 pass. And I'm dead. I don't I'm, know if you can actually kill me. I'm off loving of this, this turn, but. I am absolutely. Dude, I'm loving this so much you have no idea. Um, <clears throat> I mean. Of course you have the scape shift. Uh, I know you do. Wait, hold on. Oh, uh, so if you have the scape shift, I'm dead. Are you just going to tell me that? Yeah, because you attack for three, right? That's two, so that's five damage. Yeah, but that's two mana removal spell. I didn't draw it. Yeah. I told you that. I also don't believe you. <laughs> that's the uh, <laughs> that's the problem. So I don't know if I play this. I mean... I don't. Mm. All right, combat. Yeah, thirteen. Actually, let me do some math here. <laughs> uh, so if you play a land and then skip shift for six, that's fourteen, right? Yeah. Yeah. So okay, continue. If I black sun twilight this for one, it is still lethal. Oh, you're saying to make it a two two? Yeah. Yeah. If that would put me at one life, then I was gonna do it, but um, I didn't think it mattered. If you have it, it's game. Here's my hand. Okay. Well, I've got it. Yeah. So, for anybody who doesn't know this, so we'll go Swamp, deal two, gain two. I'm going to cast Scape Shift. I'm going to find a bunch of forests and kill him with this trigger. How does that happen? Because I have a reward. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would have, like... Okay, so you didn't have the Grazer, but everything else yeah, was, was literally perfect. sequenced I had, perfectly. So I had another, I had another Drip Presence in my hand. And I was trying to figure out, like, yeah. I obviously do I need to play both? Yeah, I didn't have enough for that, but I was like, okay, do I need to? And yes, I am playing my own Urborgs. Um, I am playing way more copies than Matt. Yeah, he's playing all four <laughs> if he has them all. Yep. 
Uh, and then people were like, oh, you don't need four copies of Verbo. Yeah, it turns out, I actually do. So this is I'm like, I'm going to put this in, even though it's not really a good card here. Don't look. Don't look. You were showing me. Because Fatal Push is basically dead in this matchup, because I don't have enough ways to trigger Revolt. And I know that he's running some things that this hits. Um, I'm also putting in... Mm, that's probably about all I need. I think it's those. And it is actually going to pull out all four of those. So here's the hard part. I don't know what the fuck I got, because, like... I mean, what are my threats that you care about? Anything is a threat. Then Obliterator is the biggest one. Who said I'm running Obliterator? Mm -hmm. Oh, the Urborgs are all just bunched up together. Sure. Like the new Sea Drino. And I could only find three of the four Simple Blackberries, which is why. So I'm assuming that the fourth one's in the binder and I didn't. <laughs> I was just like, screw it. Three's fine. That's too much work. <laughs> Three's fine. Uh, I need four cards. Oh, yeah, those probably, that's oh, probably like a fine call. Yep. Yeah. Also, I have an explanation, and I want your opinion. Okay. I don't know. Uh, after we're done. Okay, we can discuss but after you whoop my ass on this <laughs> next game. That's not going to happen. I mean, if I drew a land, I had, I had Murderous Rider, but I didn't have third mana, yeah, and I had, that was what I drew off of, oh. Sign of Blood, and then I had uh, Black Sun's Twilight. So I drew a fourth land, I could kill a Dread Presence. Sure. But yeah, I had, like, Simulacrum Dread Presence in hand, well, obviously Swamp Escape Shift. Uh, so the question really there was, since you played that, I was like, this is sweet because I get to play, I was going to just play Simulacrum, go mm -hmm. fetch a forest to dome you. Um, so, like, which is really good. So, and I'll say this for the viewers. Even if I didn't have the Urborg, he gets an Urborg and four, five forests, uh -huh. and it's still lethal. Yep. So, it didn't matter. I didn't, like, end up causing the damage to myself by playing an Urborg. Yeah, so the, the and that's the thing, right? Uh, so I can't play Prismatic Omen in this format, which is typically my go-to um, to play Valakut in Valakut triggers. Um, and so you can. Just, there is a creature though that makes them all. Uh, it's one of the ones that you play extra okay. land. It yeah. makes them all land types. Yep. But I don't remember. But the what problem its name is, is the creature is more susceptible right. to remove of course. this than um, the land is, which is why I'm playing four herborgs. Mm -hmm. um, because it turns out when you play an herborg and you already have an herborg, you still get a trigger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I would play I'll, first. A lot of people just well, don't pick them up. That's just fast. Yeah. And you yeah. play yeah. deck backwards, you pass The ability to so what I did. One, get it to so what I get did. A two drops. Uh, I guess I'll do. Really. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but, but I guess it depends on the... the you know, I'm hang, you're getting that thing out. Sure. After a week or two, if you yep, never sure. brought it in in a single matchup. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. so there might be something that you're like, oh, this actually ends up being good for yeah. Yeah, sideboarding is like. Your turn. I will take the play. Sounds good. I can put Ashiox in my sideboard and I forgot. <laughs> I wish I had a follow up. I wish I had a stomper. That'd have been good. Worse. Uh, I got it. Yes. Nice. <laughs> Send a message, eh? I thought about it, but we're gonna leave it home. Oh 
Shaul bread. We're gonna try this. Is that the correct uh, play? I don't think it is. <laughs> so like, if you have, I mean, you can't cast a Dread Presence and Escape Shift next turn. And that doesn't necessarily kill me. With the Dread Presence and Escape Shift? Right. Not on 7. Um, it doesn't kill you on 8 either. Right. I think I'm actually Not yet, at least. going to... Oh, that hurts, but we have to do it. No, I think shield is just the right play. Gaining life seems relevant. I'll pass. Generally is... Draw. I'll take it. Yep. Also reset my left foot on here, apparently. Yeah, probably not with that. Just trying to think out loud since this is more of a casual game. Mm-hmm. Um, my other line was like... Leave up removal, but also sign and blood myself. But if I just sign and blood myself with shield root play, it's way better. Yeah. So, so if you get the opportunity, yeah. there's higher upside. Yeah. Uh, not if you uh, could escape shift and cast red presence, it's a different story, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Go to combat? I think this level's a two. No, because it has to have greater power or toughness, but since he's already got the combat. Oh, yeah, because he's two. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Uh, go to combat. Swing. There you go. And there you go. Attack. On face. Okay. Fourteen. Yeah. Right. I'm going to lose two from drawing two cards, yeah. and then I'm going to gain four. Yeah, yeah, the, drawing the land, the payoff is exactly it. Good. Edict you. Um, what? I'm going to choose the mode that's non-token creature. What? Yeah, I know. You're going to make me... Get I know, I didn't want to use it on the grazer, but I, I, here we are, so... <laughs> I, I didn't want to do it, but, but it's going to happen. Now you can. Sure. Now you can play Dread Presence followed by Scape Shift for nine, which is 18. Sure. Damage. Not enough, as it turns out. Unless. Uh, four. We are going to move to combat. This should be lethal. Yes. Unless you have something. <laughs> Target, I would target six, right? Yeah. Stay keep enforced. Is that you gain hexproof? No. Uh, target permanent gets hexproof. Okay. I gain two life. Okay. Uh, so you go to ten, yep. and then resolves. Yep. So you have nothing, so you lose six. I draw three. So you go to I four. four. I go to thirty-two. And I did that because I don't want to die in my draw state. Right. Because... Four, thirty-two, uh, and I played the hive for my land, so I'll pass. Um, all right. So it needs to be a land off the top. Because you have them. Yep. So two. <laughs> Sometimes so, you don't have to be good at magic. Yep. You just so gotta be lucky at magic. I actually get to sandbag, and this isn't so you. So yeah, sandbag the land because I don't. I guess I forgot you were tapped out. It needed to be a land right. nat last turn because right. of Tammy's safety beam. But 
Um, so we'll go Dread Presence. Uh, cast Escape Shift. Sack eight. Shit, I forgot my count. Oh, this trade. These two trades. Oh, yes. Do you need to consult your tech list? Yeah. I might, and I don't have it ready. Uh, yeah, I mean, so you, you fetch eight. It's I just got to figure out. It's one Urbor. You get any land, right? So it's one Urbor. Yeah. Maybe a utility I just got to figure out. Yeah, that's what I say. I got to figure out what I've got um, and how many basics are left. Mm -hmm. Because there are basic fetchers. Mm -hmm. So... You want to leave as many, like, actual swamps. Yeah, if you grab two possible. Fable Passages, it's extra damage. Yeah. But and you gotta... In this case, it's extra life gain. Yep. You want to pull out every non... Like... Uh, what do I say? Every non-swamp. Like, actual swamp that you can. Yeah. So, and in this case, in this instance, unfortunately, the Urbor won't trigger itself. So it's only seven. Or, yeah, no, it will. I would think it will. Because it will enter as a swamp also, yeah. right? I don't know, man. It's your deck. I know, right? I'm just going to rely on you knowing your cards, and when you don't, I'll be like, you wrong. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I did that, get that shit out of the way, right? And these all enter at the same time, even though he's not physically doing that. Yep. So that's... And you're going to play the, the land from hand, I assume. Well, we'll finish this, yeah, before yeah. I... Yeah, get so this. that's so, eight triggers. Yep. Would um, you like them to all be drain life? I would... Like them to be... I would, I would like them to all be drain life, yes. I would like to point... Three of them sure. here, and five of them at your face. Okay. So I will take ten, correct? Yeah. Twenty-two. And you will gain sixteen. Yep. Go back to twenty. Um. Now the question really is, do I play what's in my hand? Oh, with Fable Passage in the battlefield, I think I do no matter what. Um. Think. You're out of gas. I have six cards in hand, so I'd probably draw a card. Yeah, I think I'd just draw a card. So, I think it's lose one, draw one. Okay, so 22 for me, and 19, 19 for you. All right. You have to remember that there's green spells, so like, I do have to cast them with force yeah. and shit. Um, all right. Good presence. Mm -hmm. Toby already stopped mm -hmm. um, I don't think there's any base in force. There is. Um, so, land from the stomper. Mm -hmm. uh, we will. <laughs> Go 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 go
So the question is, can obliterator attack? If you have a second one, it turns out you can't, right? <coughs> um, obliterator always gets sideways. Even if you block, it's getting sideways. Well, I was saying, like... <laughs> <laughs> Pass. You have no cards in hand? Correct. This is where, like, writing down your, like, what you have as lands and stuff. Yeah. Available to you. Is that a lot of basics to sack that first time around? Getting sideways. No blocks. We're doing Bang, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have oh, you no. at 16. Sorry. You're at 21. Oh. I forgot to move this, I think. Gotcha. Um, from the two points from the yeah, well, stop nice like that. Right, right. Uh, swift end that. I respond. Crack passage. Defenders off? Yeah. 14. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to get. I'll pass. Wow. Oh. I mean, shuffle anyways after. Oh. Yeah. I got seven lands, I think. <laughs> What? I accidentally pulled an extra card on Coco. Nice. Nice. So I looked at the top seven. Nice. Do you know which was the seventh? Yes. Okay. It's currently on top. So that of my you deck. should not know that information. So that your deck should be shuffled. But if you've stride anything to the bottom, that should stay there. Okay. So before I put these other ones back on bottom, I should shuffle my deck. Yes. Gotcha. Yes. That makes sense. Alright, we'll do that first. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, uh, yeah, top seven. Yep. Great. As if I didn't just go. Uh, choose not to search. Is it a May? It is a May. <laughs> That's why I was reading it before, <laughs> before I did that. So you have no just, basics. Just good to know, good, yeah, to know, good to yeah. know, good to know. That's why I said one of those should be okay. mm -hmm. like overgrown too. Uh, so I'm going to take... Uh, pass. Okay. Stupid obliterators. Okay. One card? Yep. More triggers. Yeah, if I just had Trammer, that'd be great. Yeah. Getting um, sideways. Mm -hmm. No bucks. Combat. Yep. Ten Damn. All. And let's swing for ten. Sixteen. Guess one of them. Mm -hmm. Pass. And you turn. Correct. Uh, well, I'm just trying to think in my head. Yeah. Revolt trigger. Zero cards. I assume you have another. Yeah, yeah, you know, I just have them all. <laughs> I just figured, I was like, you're going to tap all your elves. Cast another thing. Let's... <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll just take five. X equals five. Okay. Oh, target the Topiary Stomper. I don't even know what that does, but okay. Up to one target creature gets minus X minus X. If it's five or more, return a creature card with mana value X or less tapped. Sure. Uh, obliterator dies. Shoulder comes in. Get tapped. Okay. Uh, pass. Trust up. 
Yep. And I did it on my turn so that there was no safekeeping. <laughs> Because that would be the card on top of your library. It was Dread Presence, but if I waited, it was Tamiyo State. Sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hundred percent of the time. Um, if, uh, do I? Do you want to draw a card? Do you? I do want to draw a card, but the question is. Uh, Thank you for losing two life. Work. The question is, uh, like, I don't. You don't. You don't block it. I don't think. Why? I gained two. You lose two. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you draw a fatal push. It's really bad. <laughs> yeah, it's bad <laughs> like, for me. That's really true. bad. That's true. I think the, the upside is, it's a bigger upside for me to just wait. So, yeah. pass. For me, at least. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess I should have pushed that in there because you were going to snap off yeah. that block super quick. But. Heck yeah. So this is the awkward draw. Because I know there's cards in his deck that it hits that fatal push doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> but like, none it's of those are it. Yeah, none of those are it. Um, I chose four and CMC yeah. for a peculiar reason. Right. Very particular reason. Sorry, not peculiar. So trigger Presence. I assume there's a few blocks. <laughs> I'm sure YouTube's gonna let me know, but after the third coat go, when I do so, okay. um, I have no idea. If I did that. I'm gonna be a kind of aggressive oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> Might be a bad line. I don't know. I'm gonna discount the dread presence. Mm -hmm. So resolve the draw card. Like it 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 is, yeah, it can be big as hell. You can just chuck all the yeah. yeah. So Denik is card can't target spells or abilities. Swing it. Trigger here. Can I move the backside? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Give me a graveyard. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty big. It's pretty big. So, Oh, um, I have to block here. I don't have I a think choice. It's just dread presence. You can't exile my graveyard, but I don't. I don't, have, I don't have a choice. There. You're at six, correct? Yeah. So uh, that's yeah. It's like an extra little card draw plus. Five. Yeah, I mean, I have to draw here. I don't have a choice. You're dead. Or <laughs> I, have to, I have to. Which one? <laughs> but you're dead. No, I'm not. Safekeeping. Got it. Okay. Okay. So damage, take five. Sure. Go to one. Trigger. Uh, it's a May. Oh, it's a May. It is. What? Oh, it's a May. Damn, he thought okay. he got me, folks. I, I mean, you still have a draw step. Um, and then against you, I just brought in the channelers. I'll play it. Get the sure, pass. End of your turn. I cut one Denik, one Thalia. That's that's not a fatal push. <laughs> <laughs> Game three. I don't want to bother you. It'd have been the <laughs> shit though if it was. It'd be funny. It'd be funny. It, it, it does nothing. They're coming right back down. I mean, there's the at least two in your graveyard. Might have been three. I don't know. I wasn't looking at those. Uh, I was looking at what can you get back with Takanuma, which I don't actually remember if you put one in your list. The awkward draw was Noxious Grass. Oh. Because it hits Ren in seven, hits yeah. Topiary Stomper. Yeah, it hits a lot of a lot of the other half of the deck. Right. And it's just better than Fatal Push, probably. Yeah, I think this uh, is probably back. Probably better as a like, chromatic, chromatic black, black yeah. iteration. Um, and the thing about it, too, is it's like. I don't think being aggressive like there is a the bad thing because if you don't, like yeah. you use your mana and so you dry presence, I still have scape shift and I still have lands to find. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just find the other three herborgs yeah. and the rest of the lands that are there. Like, yeah. at this point, I can kill you from twelve. Yeah. So. Yeah. So it's just literally again one dread presence and a scape shift is lethal at that point. Yeah. Yeah, you gain so much damn life. Ah. Yeah, because you were down to ten, right? Yeah, that was a ten at the end there. And you were at thirty-two. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, thirty-two makes it real hard since you don't have four Valakuts. Well, they're and they're increments of two, not three. Right. Like, they're not lighting bolts. They're shocks. Yeah. And you don't have. I mean, I guess if you have multiple dread presence, it's, it's real scary. But sure, but it's not as scary as multiple Valakuts that I can't just like 
so that I can't just like fatal push or something. Yeah, I put the safekeeping's in the sideboard when I got home because of yeah, I was thinking about uh, because of the last game, but I just for the herb. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's not okay. For, not yeah. for the dread presence. Yeah, uh, like you want I can't turn the, other elf, the dread presence on any other way than right. with the non swamps. Yeah, so, I, also, I mean, yeah, sure, it also protects the, yeah, the dread really presence. Really but like, I mean, it's also just a good card. Mm -hmm. Literally saved your life. <laughs> it did. <laughs> it did. And that, yeah. weirdly yeah. enough, gave me. Card. Right. But if you're going to cocoa into anything, that's a good thing to get. Yeah. I'm going to Resolves. I'll eat it, dude. Sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick the mode that is Topiary Stomper. Okay. Oh, that's not. I don't need that card. <laughs> I need this card. I'll just put this in my graveyard. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Did you say go ahead? No, I said go ahead. Oh, okay. I must have just heard you wrong. Yep, you did. I was gonna say, yeah, I, I get the trigger. That doesn't matter. Uh, we'll do the ding you. I'll gain two. Okay. You know, and I most of the time I will not draw the card. So twenty two eighteen. It's like yeah, we want to get bodies in the air. You know, and it's like okay, so you get. Let's see if he has it. You, you, you didn't announce yeah. your word, but I still saw it. <laughs> Baleful mastery. Baleful mastery. I am paying the discounted rate. But I, I like see. The I see. See if he has the safekeeping. In a magic like um, this, where I don't want like a reach. Oh yeah. The four mages come out before you. Do not. I don't. Ra you get to draw. Rarely. Yeah, draw. Go yeah. to my turn. Yes. Yeah. What's that uh, one card? Uh, it's. Uh, I think it's. Uh, I'm probably, like look at probably the losing here. Like Sign up. Like oh, uh, Spellbinder. Yeah. Are you playing that? No, I do not run Spellbinder. Um, actually, I've been playing, there's a couple of lists I like with uh, Peacekeeper. Okay. What's the difference between Peacekeeper and Spellbinder? I'll pass. Peacekeeper is a 3 3 body with Vigilance, but when he dies, you just get the card like that. Whereas Spellbinder, it's gone forever. I feel like that's more valuable in this format. Like yeah. how heavy like the removal is. Even just like, and honestly, if I was going to just go like, I'm not going to use it. Even just maybe one or two on the side and like one copy of it. Because even if you're not getting rid of it, the knowledge of getting it in your hand is. I mean, against you though, it's a red presence. Oh, yeah. It's almost like I only like, you know, after like Trigger, a couple of times, I'm like one card in the hand. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, this is just because uh, I'm running two of that, two of that. I wasn't super. Oh, yeah, yeah, I pass. Missing lands. He's I had to sign a blood to find one last turn. Yeah. And before someone comments, they're legendary. And it's just he can They are. It turns out they are. There are turn. Yeah, nothing. Combat. Twenty one source of green. An oldie, but what I'm hoping is a goodie here. Swift on that. Oops. Just uh, on the plane. Yeah. 
like that's the only card. My turn. Yep. So I don't know. It's, it's a, Man, the only way you so can edict is to get rid of it. So, I'm not like getting rid of the the simulacrum. But I threw two other just because I had those. Double gifted yes. Aetherborn. I mean, that's legit, though. I mean, I can't find a land, though. Like, it'd be nice to be able to double spell with, like, a creature and a removal spell. Sure. Um, <coughs> How do I do this? I don't think there's a world where that's fast enough. That's true. Because a five drop is just... To be, in order to play that, you have to completely and you can't do it until turn five. Yeah, that's true. I mean, maybe, well, you get some treasure tokens on the board or something. Uh, like that. I guess if you ran, I don't remember her name, she's green, green white, which makes all your humans tap for whatever color they Oh, are. yeah, that's a uh, Katilda. Katilda, yeah. So maybe you could use Katilda. But even then, I don't think the payoff is there because it triggers off legendary. God. So I do have access to three. I didn't, sorry, I had to make sure this actually worked. Dread Presence. Yeah, yeah it's I lethal. Have if you have the scape shift. What's that? Yeah. Scape shift is lethal. Yeah, I can't I mean, cast this. Sure I don't have the Yeah. No, no, no. That's why I had to figure out. Sorry. That was was not the issue. Um, crack fable message. Mm -hmm. And it's got, if it's going to stick to human, there's um, not that many. Yeah. Find a land, trigger, shoot a gifted it's for. And you have answers for everything. Yeah. So okay, I'll just, to. I don't think that the Jodo of Legends deck is one thing. Um, I don't know why I should. Yeah, you're going to. I got a field of that. Yeah. Makes sense. Because the Jodo of Legends deck, there is one instead. Trigger, shoot the same and gifted it's it's okay. Uh, that's but it's okay. It's running. Yeah, no, that legend. I was like, that's not gonna work. Oh, I'm not going to 26. And that is why I played two gifted Aetherborn. Fatal push. Push the of course. Um, combat. Seven. Go to five. I cannot find the land. So this is the bad part. Actually, card I put in, and it hurt that whole portion of it. Which I don't think this card should be in the deck. I don't think I have a way to live. It's a little bit more resilient than that. Oh, absolutely. It's a little. It's a lot worse against control, though. It's like very noticeably more worse against control. Well, it's like one board one. Yeah. But you recover. Like my out here is. I don't think I have an out. Was obliterator? No, obliterator. I'm still dead. It still take five. That has trample oh. and that has three. Yeah. So like obliterator doesn't work. Can't hit either of your creatures. Oh, yep. Um, that doesn't do anything. I can kill dread presence and die to that. So like none of those are. Oh, oh. No. And out. So if I cast Sign of Blood, what am I going for? Uh, fatal Push and Edict. We, uh, you got but I have. Yeah. I'm a land short. Yeah. So I have. Yeah, I just missed way too many land drops. So the problem was you missing land drops, and I was my removal spell was Assassin's Trophy, mm -hmm. and I was like, you play the two Aetherborns, so I'm like, well, shit, I like. Yeah. That gives you what you need after missing land drops. Yeah. I missed um, like at least yeah. four, I think. And that's what I had to figure out with the fatal push, is what I was trying to figure out how I could do two triggers with direct presence. Mm -hmm. And and then still use the fatal fatal push. I thought it was land yeah. short and I forgot the land comes in untapped so, from like I did take out the fatal pushes because I don't have ways to trigger revolt other than two field of ruin. Sure. Um, and there, if I had that instead of the Noxious Grasp, I could have uh, yeah. I could have failed push because you triggered. Yeah. yeah, but it's I don't think it still would have saved me. So my dilemma was this. So I took out the Renin Sevens, one Cultivate, which I never saw any of them. 
and one Vassal Surge. Oh, I put it um, but I was playing two Vassal yeah, Surge and one Migration Path. Mm -hmm. I don't know which one I like better. This one cycles to draw a card. But this one also has the capability, like late game and turning a Grazer into a 2 5 or yeah, putting a couple extra, like making 5 5s. I don't know. And of course, like, I put those in because I know he's running Ren and Sevens, and they make the token. And I cut them because I figured, like, I play Ren and Seven, and neither piece was going to last long enough to make an impact. And by the point, by the time that I get to Ren and Seven and actually do something, you're going to have some sort of force. Aid. Like, my the token just dies to. Gifted Aetherborn. Um, and then, like, one pump with uh, the, not the shade. Mystery Shadow? Yeah. Bas I mean, it's basically one pump once you get to that point, it, like, kills the run in seven anyway. So I just thought it was not as impactful. Um, and I yeah. put in the. And obviously, you sideboarded out of what I was going for with Noxious Grasp. <laughs> oh, So it was yeah. just a mistake on my part. So, and I boarded but, in. Uh, and I would think that I have enough Edict effects that I can get through a Carnage Tyrant. But I didn't see any of them. You saw one. Sure. And I wasted it. I probably wasted it. But, like, I guess the Topiary Stomper doesn't come on for a couple turns, so I should have just ignored it. But I also, uh, yeah. like, didn't have anything it can else be, going It can on. be super quick if right. everything's correct, yeah. I did have, uh, like, I had a Surge in hand, but I just could not find a place. I think that's going to be the clunky part, because the 4-drop yeah. slot is so congested. Yeah. Um, but this is my out, this is my in. So, I like the Carnage Tyrant. I put it in more for the, not for this matchup, but... Yeah, um, I mean, it worked against me. Well, it did because of the spot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that I didn't try for him. Sure, and I forgot about the Edicts was the problem. I'm running so, four sh Shielded Edicts and three Invoked Despairs. Well, and that was the thing. So, so it was like, I knew about the Invoked Despairs. Despairs. I forgot about the Edicts when I was thinking about it, but it was like, okay. Like, I can play... Carnage Tyrant. It'll be later anyway, so the odds of like having a Simulacrum or a Boreal Grazer or something yeah, like that would be higher. Yeah, removal for all that stuff. But it makes you use the spot removal and then use the Edict like the same turn if you're sandbagging something because you don't want to yeah. get rid of the... Yeah. I guess the fact that it makes you use crap. It makes you use removal on crap. Yeah, I have to actually use removal on the Grazer. Yeah. Yeah. So. But I'm not sure. Okay, I'm thanks a two, for watching, everyone. 2-1 split.